So obviously not the result uh, you guys expected or wanted. What do you think contributed to that? Well, you know, they've got three really good players. And um, uh, their best player who's going to Hope College, uh, he played like that tonight. And we thought we had a good um, idea on how to stop them. I think that we kind of did. You know, until we started following, they were in the low 40s. But um, we only had 17 points at halftime. 24 points at the end of three. And, uh, you know, finished the game shooting 13 for uh, 67. And, you know, like I said to the boys, you know, uh, when you shoot 13 for 67 for the floor and only shoot six free throws, you know, you're not going to beat the sisters of the blind, uh, deaf, and dumb. So, I mean, you know, it, look, we love these kids. Um, you know, it's like I, 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 I said, we, we feel like we, um, we're very disappointed, but we feel like we sent uh, our, our two seniors out on a, on a really good season. They left their mark here at Calvary. Uh, the first team in, in any boys' sport to ever be to skate Catholic. Um, you know, set the school scoring record in a, points in a game. And then, um, you know, the first winning season since 2013. So uh, we're really proud of the guys. That's the final summary, is that we're just, we're super proud of the guys. And, um, you know, a lot of disappointment to shoot that poorly here in our home gym. Um, but it is what it is. And, uh, you know, um, as this last year has demonstrated, these boys are going to face a lot more bigger challenges in life than uh, losing a basketball game. So uh, we know that basketball is not the most important thing in life. And so, uh, you know, just reminded the guys to... Um, Always remember that God is in control of everything in their life and uh, to keep him first. And, uh, you know, that we're here for them, as they, especially the seniors, you know, as they move on. And, you know, one of them's going to probably play college basketball. But just let the seniors know they've always got a, some adults here. All these coaches here are, are here for them. And uh, we'll do anything we can for them as they get older, just like my coaches did for me. And so uh, I told them to, you know, walk out of here with your head held up high. Um, we're not going to. Uh, we're not going to hang our heads. We're going to um, say we gave it the best we could do. And um, you know, I, I'm proud of the seniors, I'm proud of the juniors, and I'm, I'm proud of both of our eighth graders. So um, always hurts to lose, really hurts to lose. And um, we really felt like if we could get through that first game, that we had a real good chance at the second game. Obviously, we've already beaten the Skeeton Catholic. But it wasn't meant to be tonight. And... Uh, you know, God bless them. Uh, just, just tough. Did you guys? This is a two-parter. So, did you guys think that this is the worst you guys have shot offensively this year? One and two. How much do you think the uh, two games you had to cancel last week had to do with it? Uh, you know, we're not going to make any excuses. Uh, it, it is the worst we've shot all season. They they packed it in a two-three zone. They weren't even contesting a lot of our three-point shots and. Uh, you know, then when we did get the ball in the paint, you know, our two post players, um, you know, we, try, we tried to work on shot faking, and it, and it just didn't happen smoothly. It didn't. So we shot the ball poorly from the three-point line, but we also shot the ball very poorly from the two-point line. So that's a tough combination, and uh, I don't know. We're not going to make excuses about not playing those games last week. Uh, you know, it... It's just been a goofy season. I mean, I w wish we could have started from November, but everybody does. Uh, can't cry over shoulda, coulda, wouldas, and you know, if ifs and buts were candy and nuts, we'd all have a great Christmas, right? So we're not gonna, it is what, I mean, the kids uh, tried their hardest. We had a good game plan, and um, sometimes you just come up short. And you know, you saw them fighting even till the end. We cut the gap um, with the full court press. And I said, hey, listen, in a timeout, I said, hey, all we got to do is make three or four threes in a row. And I said, Lord knows you do, because <laughs> dude, we've only missed about 15 in a row. So um, yeah, we were so close. But, uh, yeah. It wasn't meant to be tonight.